Hi friend, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a drop down menu using only HTML and CSS. No JavaScript involved and this is the functionality you're going to be left with at the end of this tutorial. If you have any other doubts that I don't answer in the video, please make sure that you check out the articles that I'm going to link in the description below. You don't have to because I'm going to walk you through it, but if you have any extra doubts, that will be a good place to start. So let's get started. So I have already set up my environment. This is just an HTML template. Let's just edit this. Okay. So what we're going to need first, it's a navigation. So let's do that. We are going to want to add a label because we're gonna have an input of checkbox that is gonna do all the magic for us. Um, let's give it open just so we can identify it and to know what it's gonna do. We're gonna want a span here that is going to be our title of menu. Here is where all the magic is gonna happen. Let's put an input type of checkbox and let's give it an ID so we can target it later of open. So now what we want is our list element. So let's make a simple list that is going to contain our navigation menus. And let's give it a class of slide because this is going to be the content that is going to be sliding down from our menu. So this is all the HTML we need. I have already linked up my style sheet. So we need to create our style sheet. Yeah, a quick way to know it's truly really connected. You just go body, color, color, red. That is the ultimate debugger <laughs> for CSS. Make everything red. We want to start styling our list. That's pretty ugly. So. Let's target it like that. That's going to get rid of the bullet points. Now we want to target that annoying little line. And we might also want to give it some color. So let's target it like that. Our anchor tag from our list elements will be this. Tax decoration none. Again, this will remove the underline and color. Let's just put it black. There we go. So now let's start actually working on navigation. So our nav element, we're going to target it like that. Let's give it a width of 200 pixels. You can't really see it. So let's give it like a background color, um, gray. That's a really ugly gray, so let me just erase. Okay. Let's also give it a margin of 20 pixels. It's looking better. And let's style the color of the text to be just a, a darker shade of this. So let's just Now, this is where all the magic happens, so let's start with our span. Remember, our span is gonna be this. Our menu title is contained within the span tags. And span elements are usually inline elements, they're not block elements. So, the first thing we might want to do is to make it a block element so it occupies the whole width. We also want to add some padding so it can look nicer. Let's align the text. Last but not least, and when the cursor is hovering over it, let's put a pointer. Now, let's target after. This is a pseudo selector that is gonna target the content immediately after on elements positionally. So let's remember our span is our menu 
So let's see it in action. Content will be a plus sign because we want people to open it. And as you can see, it will add it right after. We want it to float, right? And let's give it a right of 5%. Something to clarify is that content is required. So if you don't want content, you can just leave it empty. It will look like that. You can put anything in there. You can put a string, you can put an image. What you cannot do is put HTML elements in here. You can put emojis, that's really fun. And let me just show you what the before does. Let's put left. Let's put left. So this is the before. That's basically what pseudo elements do. So let's, I like it after. <laughs> they just add content positionally after the element. So now let's go with our slide class and let's target that. Classes are targeted using dots at the start, it's slide. Okay, so our slide, let's remember, is our list. So what do we want to do with this? Well, we might want to give it a width to occupy the whole space. We might want to give it a height of zero. A transition that is going to help when it's clicked to look better, when it slides down. Height, five seconds. Is And where the magic happens is here. Overflow, hidden. We can start with the functionality that we are gonna give our little checkbox friend. Remember, we put an ID of open to our checkbox. So to target it, we need open with a hashtag in front, and we want to position it, absolute, and a height of zero. It's still there, you just can't see it. Let's open, inspect, input. It's still there, but now we can't see it. Last but not least, this is the functionality. What's gonna happen when we click it? Well, we want that when the checkbox is checked, we want the menu to slide down. So we might want to target open and slide at the same time and open. So this means that when open is checked, that means our checkbox is checked. We want that and our slide element to have a height of 200 pixels. Remember that we gave it an ID of open to our checkbox. Here it is. We want our open and our slide to have a height of 200 px because remember give it a height of zero here but if we click here nothing happens and it's because we have a bug we need to include all of this in our navigation you might have picked it up from the start but if we have all of this now it should work perfectly it's looking quite ugly so let's add some padding in our list elements to our slide list elements we want to add a padding of 10 pixels there we go and this is all friends a quick and easy tutorial here you have a drop down menu using only html and css you can add as many links as you want just remember to correctly target the elements on css and to include your whole navigation in the nav tag. You can find the completed code on my article, here it is. If you want to check it out, if you had a bug, you might want to take a look at this. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this. This is a really quick and easy way of doing a drop down menu, you can style it however you want, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, if not, that's totally fine, just stay, uh, hang out, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you on the next one.